Hello my friends, this is Mike from Seawater Pro. This is another video from Seawater Pro. In this video we're going to talk about our portable water maker. Our portable water maker was designed and made in-house by Seawater Pro. It is a single unit. It fits in a carry-on, legal carry-on size briefcase, which is about 19 by 17 by 8 inches tall. It weighs 50 pounds and again, like I said, everything fits in that single uh, carry-on briefcase. We have a system here that will make about 9 to 12 gallons per hour depending on temperature and salinity and it's very easy to maintain and operate. So with this system, how does it compare to the modular system where it has pre-filters and a rinse timer? How does this kind of compare to that modular system? Well, here is the difference. Uh, the first and uh, foremost is this pre-filter, which is one piece boost pump, pressure gauge, and pre-filter in one. Uh, the pre-filter is inside this container. It is a standard two and a half inch by five. You can find it on our website or on Amazon for a couple of dollars, uh, very inexpensive. You just place it inside and thread the two components together. This is what goes into the ocean. Fully submergible? It's a fully submersible pump. It has a six foot hose, so it can be six feet away from the water maker. Now, if you need more than that, we have an optional extension hose that will give you another, an additional five feet of reach. So if you're both, let's say, six feet over the water, uh, you can have this unit up to 11 feet away from the pre-filter. So what is the startup uh, procedure for this unit? Uh, startup is very simple. First, we drop this in the ocean. Second, we drop this water overboard. This is the, uh, the line that carries the brine. Brine is really the salt. Instead of accumulating the salt in the, in the membranes, we are actually separating it and we're getting rid of it with this hose overboard. So this hose needs to go overboard as well. And uh, the first thing you want to do is plug in your uh, boost pump. The boost pump is, again, the pump that's in the water. As soon as you notice some uh, water flow coming out of this hose, then you turn on the high pressure pump. The high pressure pump will take the pressure to 800 PSI. Why do we have two different plugs for the boost pump and the high pressure? Why not just have one plug? But that's a good question. Uh, that's because we want to run the boost pump first, make sure that there is water, uh, because we don't want to run the high pressure pump dry. Uh, as soon as we see some, observe some water in the system, then it's okay to turn on the high pressure pump. So what you're saying is it's going to take roughly 10, 15, 20 seconds, it's going, the boost pump is going to fill up the pump and the membranes before it just starts flowing out of the That is correct. Okay. And that is the time when you, you're ready to turn on the high pressure pump. Once you turn on the high pressure pump, all you have to do is turn the pressure regulator clockwise until you read 1000 PSI. And within seconds after that, you'll start producing fresh water out of this hose. This hose, again, it's six feet, but you can get an extension to 15, 20 feet, wherever your tank needs to uh, reach. Very nice. So we've made water all day. Uh, what is the shutdown procedure for this? Let's say I want to shut this down. I'm going to put it away for two weeks. I'm not going to use it for a while. What That's do I do? Very simple. Pull both plugs. The pumps have stopped. Take the submersible pump out of the water and submerge it in a small salad bowl or a small bucket. Should I remove the pre-filter before I do that? You remove the pre-filter. It's a good idea because the filter is no longer needed. You can remove it if it's if it's time to replace it, you throw it away. Uh, take this, in, insert it now in the salad bowl and add 20% of the liquid preservative, which is included with every water maker. 20% of this 80% water. Turn on both pumps and recycle this fluid, which will turn blue once you mix them together. So you can identify that we have uh, preservative in the system. And then you'll see the blue start coming out of this hose. Keep them together in the same container recycle it for a couple of minutes and then you're done. Turn the system off and put it away. So this preservative is pretty viscous, it's thick. So I'm assuming we're probably not gonna wanna pressurize this in the system. Yes, during the pickling process, we wanna keep the pressure down to zero. And same thing with unpickling, when we come out of, uh, let's say you stored it for a few months or a year and you, you wanna use the system now, the, the, exact, the exact same procedure. Place a new filter, submerge this in the ocean, Turn on both pumps, keep the pressure at zero for a few 
maybe for a couple of minutes and then start raising the pressure and start making water. That's all there is to it. So after the system's been uh, preserved or pickled, should I run this water overboard before I send it to my tank? Uh, yes, for about five to 10 minutes, it's a good idea to let this run into the ocean. Don't put it right away in your tank because there may be a little bit of this preservative still in the membranes. By the way, this preservative is 100% food grade preservative. It is not gonna hurt you, but I'm sure you don't wanna drink it intentionally. So let it run for a few minutes and then go ahead and place this in your tank and start filling your tanks again. So now we've pickled the system, it's time to put it away. Uh, we have these plugs on all our lines. I'm assuming this is just so we don't drip water when we're done with the process. That's exactly right. That's all there is to it. Uh, there, is a, there is a cap here that keeps this from spilling water inside the container. It's just a half inch thread. Also another feature is that if you want to have this unit inside your boat, let's say you don't want to be uh, throwing this overboard, you want to make an, a semi-permanent installation, this has a standard half inch thread. So you can go straight from your through hole onto this pump and use the unit uh, internally in your boat. So what is the power consumption of this? How many watts rough, uh, roughly are, does this system take? Absolutely, the unit takes uh, 600 watts of power at about 10 gallons per hour. So if I could run a microwave, I could run this machine. You could run two of these for the same energy you're, you're using for a microwave. Very good to know, very good to know. I hope this video answered all your questions. We have more videos available on our resources page on our website. You can call us direct at 954-800-8800. You can send us an email at info at seawaterpro.com. And of course, if you subscribe, you'll get notified for all our future videos.